Will computers eventually become more intelligent than we are? Will they even rule the world in the near future? In America, this already happened a few years ago. California was run by a Terminator T-800 for eight years. <laughs> and the systems are getting better and better. Walmart is able to diagnose pregnancy in young women just by analyzing their buying habits. And they can do it long before the women themselves are aware of their condition. I found this absolutely scary. Therefore, I decided to fight back. Sometimes when I do my shopping, I buy exactly what a pregnant woman would buy. <laughs> plus a bottle of vodka and some condoms. <laughs> and then I imagine the database experts staring at my shopping list, completely confused. And here you can see the fundamental deficit of algorithms. Data are not capable to analyze themselves. If you ask a computer about the connection between a music tape and a pen, it won't have any idea what you are talking about. Agreed, every person under 20 will neither, but at least for different reason. <laughs> Is there anybody in the room who tried to find a partner on a dating website? <laughs> <laughs> I did that once, just for research. <laughs> and the procedure is well known. First, you have to fill in a detailed questionnaire. Which qualities do you expect from your companion? With what type of sport would you compare your last relationship? Tennis, marathon, trap shooting? <laughs> <laughs> and then an algorithm uh, compares all your answers with the answers of all possible candidates. And if the match is good enough, you will be introduced to each other. And on this basis, every 11 minutes, a single will fall in love. <laughs> That's the advertising claim of Parsh, the German market leader. Every 11 minutes, a single will fall in love. Sounds fantastic, doesn't it? But if you do some math, the result is quite sobering. <laughs> if every 11 minutes, one out of five million German Parship clients will fall in love, then 99% of all clients will go away empty-handed after one year. <laughs> you get a higher success rate at a funeral in Amorbach. <laughs> partner search has its limits because there are a lot of factors for a successful relationship that cannot be calculated. Common sense of humor, for example. Recently, my wife and I were invited by another couple that just had a baby, Kim. My wife looked at it and said, Kim, ha, huh, like the North Korean dictator. <laughs> Good choice, he yells just like him. <laughs> I thought it was very funny. <laughs> Kim's mother was not so amused. Kim is a girl, she told us in a slightly offended tone. A girl, my wife replied. Thank God you didn't give her a stupid name like Tiffany. <laughs> so does Kim have a middle name? <laughs> it was the last time we saw them, but every time we remember this story, we crack up laughing. Common sense of humor is a very strong bond. And humor is a skill no algorithm is able to recognize. Computers have no sense of humor, as opposed to us. Two colibacteria come into a bar. <laughs> the bartender says, sorry, we don't serve colibacteria. Why serve us? The two reply, we've been working in your kitchen for weeks. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, computers will definitely change a lot. But I'm also convinced that the intelligent robot, that artificial intelligence, will always remain a running gag from the Silicon Valley. Up to this day, no computer is able to comprehend the meaning of a simple fairy tale. Machines don't know that people don't come back after they die. And they have no clue that with a piece of rope you can pull things but not push them. A simple fruit fly has only 100,000 neurons. That's a fraction of a processing capacity of an iPhone. 
But with these few neurons, the fly is able to navigate in three dimensions, can do loopings, and can turn our rubbish into a swinger club. <laughs> Computers calculate, brains comprehend. That's the fundamental difference. Recognizing a good friend from behind who is 60 meters away is very easy for us. For a computer, it's still very difficult because it doesn't have a good friend. <laughs> But it can multiply 26 by 78 faster than lightning. A person who can do that doesn't have a good friend either. 